I like to think about biological systems as useful models to learn something about energy and, and all sorts of things in life because life is electric. And moreover, if we think about it, you know, life has this, this 3.5 billion year history on Earth. And over that time, it has evolved and learned its own solutions to be anthropomorphic about life. And those solutions have collected over time. So there's two things I always think about when I think about the evolution of life and its solutions to energy, among, among other things. The first is specific solutions to problems based on environmental constraint. And yet life maintains an inherent flexibility that as Earth has changed over time, it still gets the job done. So there's these specific solutions and yet an inherent flexibility to be able to adapt as those things change. So if I were to think of why we can learn something about solutions to energy and using life as a model system, it would be specific solutions, but also this inherent flexibility that's built into the, to those solutions. The first thing I think of when I'm asked about an energy device or technology that was inspired by a bio biological solution or bio-inspired bio are uh, photovoltaics or solar, solar power or solar cells. Even something as basic as ways to heat water and in various places I've lived, you might heat your swimming pool through a very basic way of, of you know, dragging the water through a solar panel um, really to heat the water, but also thinking about a way to collect. So why is this bio-inspired? My background is in thinking about evolution of photosynthesis, but also how photosynthesis works. And there seems to be we can make this connection even stronger. Someday we have more technology. But harvesting solar energy, harvesting the light from a star, biology can do. And so I think that the first thing that I always think of is, is solar cells or photovoltaics, that idea to harvest the energy of a star, which I think is profound. 